So Servo is a new breed of RTS. Uh, it has economics and build up and all the things that you would expect in an RTS, but it's really kind of spawned differently. One of the biggest things about Servo is that we have this RPG-like progression. You know, as you play individual games of Servo, you'll collect gear for the Servos, and between games you can change out what your team has equipped and things like that. This idea of taking an RTS game and figuring out how this finely crafted, finely tuned thing that has to be balanced or the hardcore guys won't enjoy it, uh, how we marry that with this really deep progression, something that people are just, oh, I gotta play one more game, I gotta get one more part. Um, it's, it's something we've been after for a long time. And Servo, I think, is actually a pretty good mix. Prior to Bonus XP, we had a lot of experience with our group uh, making old school strategy games, the Age of Empires series, Age of Mythology, so one of the things that we wanted to do with Bonus XP when we started it was really build a team-focused culture. We have a small group of people, we're committed to doing original games that, that haven't been done before with a lot of team input. We do daily play tests and take feedback from the team. Everybody's involved in shaping the games and making it something that they love. Servo is set in the far future when mankind has made a mess of Earth and fled to the stars. Eventually they find their way back to Earth and try to solve the problem that they created there. The way you progress in Servo is by winning battles in any of our various modes. You earn new parts to invest in your Servos to add on to them new weapons and new body parts and new abilities to make them better fit your strategy. Like any strategy game, Servo has a lot of points of contention and things that you fight over. Uh, fighting's good. Uh, so in, in, for most of the games it's in, in Servo, it's going to be the bloom. You know, when you play a strategy game, you're fighting over bloom. You're mining it and you're using that, those, those resources to spend to get servos and upgrade your, your units and things like that. There are several different modes in servo. My personal favorite is the co-op mode. So I love being able to grab a friend and go rampaging across the planet, causing explosions, killing everything in sight. There's also a single player campaign mode. We have 25 missions that take you back to old earth where you solve the mysteries uh, left behind there. And there's also a PvP mode where you can play against other players, take on their base, earn some really cool parts. Servo is intended to be a, a little bit of a shorter experience. You know, most of the games that we play, you know, whether they're co-op or competitive, they tend to be 10 or 15 minutes long. And that feels actually pretty great. You, know, you, you play a 10 or 15 minute game, you get a new part, you decide if you want to keep it. If you want to keep it, you go put it on one of your, your servos and you have at it again. My favorite feature in Servo is the customization. Um, I love the reward of winning a match, getting some really cool new parts, going back and seeing how I can fit them onto all of my servos. The hardest part is deciding whether I want the awesome frag grenade launcher or if I want the rocket launcher. I guess I really should decide which one fits my strategy best, but usually I pick whichever one makes the prettiest explosion. Servo is everything that we've loved about RTS games, plus everything that we loved about a progression-based game like an RPG married together. It's a simple, fun RTS to play, and then you have these units that you've made, these servos that you've built out over time, that you bring and you can put your imprint onto the RTS game and really make it yours. And I think that, that ability to be expressive and you know, uh, to be you, like that's what servos are about.